With so many new players getting houses for the first time, or for some people just wanting to revamp their design, I've actually gotten a ton of questions asking me what I personally do to inspire my housing designs. Before I go any further, I should add just to be super careful that I am not sponsored or affiliated or anything crazy here, but I wanted to be as genuine as I could with this video and give resources or creators that I go to when I'm personally looking for housing inspirations. So first off, I go to HGXIV a lot. And so this is an extremely wonderful community of housing enthusiasts in this game that produce content across so many different platforms. It's, it's actually quite awesome. You get them on Twitter posting a lot, you get podcasts, they have a Discord server, and even a Twitch account for streams. This is bar none, one of the best resources that you will find for housing ideas in Final Fantasy XIV, and I admire their work extensively. Next up is Housing Snap, and this is probably the most gorgeous website I have seen in a very long time for any housing community in any game. This allows you to view a ton of various house designs from across the world as it is frequently used by users of other regions such as Japan. If you ever have a difficult time reading another language such as Japanese, I would actually encourage you to make use of some of the translation tools that come with modern browsers like Google Chrome, because there is often actually very often, a beautiful backstory or explanation, and the creators are honestly just so friendly. Thirdly, Final Fantasy XIV Home and Garden subreddit. So this is a subreddit dedicated to people showing off their housing designs, and it allows you to experience them with all the comforts of the normal Reddit features such as sorting by top, or new, or even adding time filters. Subscribing to the subreddit will also give you a steady normal Reddit stream of housing ideas that as people produce more content. Fourthly is Alice's Housing Designs, and this is one of the first creators that I actually even followed in housing for a long time, and actually is like the first person that comes to mind when I'm in a pinch and want to get some inspiration for housing. It's gotta be Alice in my mind. Her work is extremely detailed and extremely beautiful. She runs both a Twitter account and a Tumblr account and a Discord server where you can see some of her tremendously awesome work. Fifthly is Bright Dancer, and they are a YouTube here that is posting regular shows of their housing projects and has some of the most spectacular content, such as their most recent housing showcase of The Seed of Despair is an utterly decadent dark theme that is so incredibly well done. And honestly, when I'm pulling ideas for like a Halloween house, I'm not gonna lie, I am drawing some inspiration from some of the themes in here. It is so well done. Sixthly is Meisha, who is another YouTuber that produces stellar housing content. Easily, I would recommend you check out some of their work for some great ideas. Personal favorites of mine, although all their content is really honestly quite amazing, are going to be Whispers of the Fae and Rest of Blue. Those are very iconic houses in my mind, and I think that those would generate a lot of ideas for a lot of viewers. Seventhly would be Akrai, and they're producing some mind-blowing housing content with some drop-dead gorgeous designs that, honestly, I'm really living for. Arm Luxuria and Sweater Weather is, like, so good. And not to mention the Snuggly Boar. I mean, even that name, the Snuggly Boar, I'm sorry, that's iconic. And these are all designs that I've fallen head over heels for myself, and I would easily recommend you check out on your housing journey. Next up, when it comes to tricks and getting items to, um, <laughs> how do I say this? Move the way that you want them to. Shea Cloud Bank is the first channel that comes to my mind when I want to find out a way to make an item move in a way that I want it to move that it might not necessarily want to move on its own. <laughs> They have a very impressive catalog of various items to try and check out, and so if you're ever in a pinch where you're just like, oh, I, I, I kind of want this to move in a different way, then absolutely give their videos a check. However, that is not just the only set of creators that I'd recommend, because I think that one thing that is super important is that you should always be on the lookout for new creators. I think that especially myself because just a year ago is when I was really starting out and I was literally at like 50 subscribers mostly from Anthem content and I think that I should encourage everyone to check out new creators because especially in Final Fantasy 14 we are having some of the most amazing talented people come up and so I'm going to just recommend a bunch of creators that I honestly just found when I was doing research for this video. 
And so I'm going to recommend Claire Couture with their built-in stack shelves tutorial, which is honestly such an extremely unique look that I think that this is something that I will be incorporating into my future house designs for sure. It is, it really pops out. It, it's so unique. So check out her content as this video honestly was literally released just moments before my initial release of this video and I was so impressed that I was like bam cut off this video let's wait let's redo this script and yeah it's just that good and they have other tutorials on their channel such as a smooth stairwell trick that honestly does a lot more than just a smooth stairwell trick there is it just shows you a lot of the housing fundamentals and very very well done very high quality Next up is Mulligan with their beautiful medium house tour. Oh my god, this medium house is so well designed and very warm feeling, but with a modern aesthetic, which oftentimes when I'm looking at modern aesthetic houses, I'm like, ooh, that's modern, absolutely, but that almost feels a little cold, but this is like skewed to the warm feeling, so if you're looking for that kind of combination, absolutely check this out. It is so well done. Next up is Elia, who has a metric ton of fantastic housing tips, showcases, and housing tricks on their videos on their channel, and I totally recommend you seek them out. <laughs> like, this is literally a video on how to build a TV in this game. I am not joking, this is how to build a TV in Final Fantasy XIV housing. And yes, I am being serious, this is some of the awesome tricks that you come across. It is just so wild what people can do. Next up, I'm going to recommend Igniting Nation Gaming because they have such a good tutorial on how to build a skylight, which I think that just from the picture alone, you can tell this is a unique and very eye-catching look. And so definitely give their video that I have right now on the screen a check out. It is such a cool tutorial and such a cool effect. It's something that I actually plan to make use of in some of my upcoming large plot housing builds so look forward to that it is really cool idea and yeah with that uh, honestly i think that there are just so many good creators that i want to just say again like always keep your eyes out there on like twitter on on youtube on various different social media platforms because we have so many creators that are just making such good housing content that I, honestly I am really happy because the housing community is one of the strongest that I've seen in any game in Final Fantasy XIV. It is really actually quite refreshing and I think that there is just so much to explore here. But above and beyond anything, I want to just end this video with saying don't forget that you also can be creative and you can also like check out your own ideas and like form your own things because who would have ever really thought that we would have gotten like the modern aesthetic to happen? I mean that was something that I remember hearing a little bit about in A Realm Reborn. P.S. That's when I didn't have a house and had no hope of having a house. And yet here we are now. We're literally having tutorials on how to make a literal massive flat screen TV on a wall. So honestly, people's creativity I think is one of the most exciting things about Final Fantasy XIV's housing system. Is It's just like, it, it lets people be so creative because it is such an open wide canvas. And so feel free to like check out so many other creators and to make your own content. I, I'm always on the lookout for new content creators because there's just so much good that can come from getting new different perspectives and new sides from things. And how, that is all for this video. I hope that you have a lot of inspiration now and that you can go out and make your house absolutely beautiful. And if you do, post it on YouTube because I want to get more of these ideas. I am definitely looking forward to that. And if you do, hit me up on the Twitters and show me and I'll be eager to see that out. Now, take care and hope to catch you in the next one.